Welcome to the Tasting Glass, a segment of the Tap Room Exclusive, where I give you a taste of what's brewing in the craft beer world. I'm your host, Dean Zarbaugh. Today's show is brought to you by Northeast Ohio Craft Brewery News. Follow Northeast Ohio Craft Brewery News on Facebook at facebook.com slash N-E-O-C-B-N. Mark Bona of Cleveland.com is reporting that there are some changes coming to Cleveland Beer Week this year. The 10th annual week-long festival is scheduled for Friday to Sunday, October 12th to the 21st. Per Mark, the big change is that Bruzilla, the traditional flagship finale that was replaced the last two years by Rare, is returning to the lineup and will be held at the Wolstein Center. Elements of Rare, which featured limited edition beers of all kinds, will be incorporated into Bruzilla, a grand tasting with scores of breweries pouring hundreds of beers. For details on other changes to the festival, the teams, and what styles they will be brewing, check out Mark's article on Cleveland.com. On Tuesday, June 26, Great Lakes Brewing Company and Engage Cleveland are hosting Hop College 101 at the Great Lakes Brewing Company Tasting Room located at 2701 Carroll Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. Hop College 101 will guide attendees through the essentials of beer knowledge and a tasting, of course, in a unique, interactive, and fun experience. Attendees will take a dive into beer's long and storied history, learn the nitty-gritty of beer's ingredients and brewing process, pick up on the nuances of beer quality and sensory analysis, and most importantly, enter into the rich 30-year story of Great Lakes Brewing Company and a tasting of their seven core offerings. Join Education Representative Mike Williams and Quality Analyst Mike Buckley and come experience all there is to know about the world of beer. Light appetizers and beer samples are included in the ticket price. A cash bar is available as well. It is recommended you plan for dinner before or after the event. Parking is on your own. Meters, lots, and garages are located within the area. Tickets are available at EngageCleveland.com. Every Tuesday, Platform Beer Company likes to appreciate and support the many amazing nonprofit organizations in Cleveland. This week, they will be teaming up with Progressive Arts Alliance to help raise money. One dollar of every Platform beer sold will go directly to their organization. Progressive Arts Alliance offers a different way of looking at the world by showing students and families that they can learn about science, algebra, social studies, and everything through the lens of art. For more information on the event, visit Platform's Facebook page and be sure to get out on Tuesday and help Platform give back to the community. Speaking of Platform, they will be celebrating their four-year anniversary on June 30th. They will be doing a cookout and have new beer releases. The first 125 people at the event will receive a commemorative glass. For more details, visit Platform's Facebook page. Rick Arman of Ohio.com and the Akron Beacon Journal is reporting that Millersburg Brewing Company will distribute Pope's Imperial Pumpkin Beer in four-pack cans for the first time this September. For more details, check out Rick's article on Ohio.com. Rob over at Northeast Ohio Craft Brewery News is reporting that Earthworks Brewing Company of Heath, Ohio were issued their A1C brewing permit this week. In new applications this week, Henmick Farms and Brewery of Delaware, Ohio has filed for their license. Delaware is already home to two breweries, Stoss Brewing Company and Restoration Brew Works. Rob also has the details on the grand opening of Muscalunge Brewing Company, the newest Canton, Ohio brewery. The grand opening is set for June 28th. The Small Nano Brewery will be the second Canton brewery to open this month after Shale Brewing Company, which opened earlier this week, and the third in 2018 following Fatheads Brewery, Canton, Ohio. Muscalunge is located at 425 5th Street Northwest in downtown Canton. All of the breweries will eventually be part of the Lincoln Highway Ale Trail, whose launch has been pushed back to 2019. To anyone in the Cincinnati area, listen up. Join Westside Brewing for a weekend-long celebration, including multiple beer releases, food trucks, live music, charity split the pot, and limited edition commemorative snifter glass. The festivities will be running from June 29th until July 1st. Visit Westside Brewing Company's Facebook page for more information. Hey listeners, Railroad Brewing Company head brewer Jerome is doing this year's Bike MS ride a total of 150 miles over two days in early August. This horrible disease has affected his family and friends, and he's asking for your support to raise a modest $300 before the event. Donations can be made by cash or check and dropped off at the brewery located at 1010 Center Road in Avon, Ohio. Checks should be made out to the National MS Society, and thank you for your support. Sibling Revelry has announced that they will be releasing their wildly popular taproom offering Lavender Wit in cans for the first time ever. The cans will be available at the Westlake Taproom starting today. Look for it on shelves wherever Sibling Revelry beers are sold starting next week. That'll do it for this week's edition of The Tasting Glass. Be sure to check out my latest episode featuring Steve Foreman, pub brewing manager of Great Lakes Brewing Company at thetaproomexclusive.com. You can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Google Play Music, and Stitcher. Follow the show on Twitter at Taproom Podcast and like the show's Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Taproom Exclusive and follow me on Instagram at the Taproom Exclusive. As always, this is Dean Zarbaugh telling you to please drink responsibly.